this one in a sec a second Al Franken accuser came forward. She says that he inappropriately touched her while posing for this photo at the Minnesota State Fair in 2010 while he was senator. <coughs> now, is this going to continue to create a fervor? Do you think there are more folks out there? What Should he resign? What should he do? I, I thought it was an odd thing. Uh, um, if that, I'm, I have no reason not to believe the girl. Mm -hmm. You know, but when I in 2010, I had another show on uh, CNN's channel HLN, mm -hmm. uh, and I asked Frank Isaiah Franken to come on. I know him very well, and uh, he said I can't come on your show yet because I have to make sure that I'm not funny. You know, I'm a senator now. I've got to be serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can't believe that he was so. Um, what's the word, careless, mm -hmm. as to do something like that when he was the um, senator already, having been so cautious about being funny. Right. Yeah. It just... Well, I think a lot I, of people are reacting to, like, party affiliation with this and equating them all. I'm sure after the show, you mm -hmm. saw some of the social media people saying, oh, so you are, are fine with one party but not the other. I think you have to remove... Wait, I'm not following you. Like, a political affiliation, like yeah. Roy Moore versus an Al Franken. Right. And to me... Two I, different things. Two very different things. Yeah. That's my point here, is that I think you can't paint with broad strokes on this. It's someone telling me I have a nice butt and then someone grabbing my butt and then someone assaulting me. Those are three very different situations. Mm -hmm. And as a thinking individual, when you watch this, you have to assess for yourself. All the victims are victims. And if they felt unsafe or not okay, that is that is to believed and to be listened to. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But you can't then put them all in the same barrel of punishments, of kick them all right, out, right. don't let them live. Yeah. This, not all, this is a spectrum. Well, he, oh, his accusations are not exerting power over these women. So that's a very big distinction. Well, and oh. I, I honestly think you can't put Roy Moore in the category. When you're talking about someone with underaged girls, yeah. I don't think you can put that just in a, an assault category. Right. This is something that I would have a difficult time being okay with. I'm, like, I'm just concerned that these allegations come up, are coming up over and over and over again. And I've said it often on this show. This is not a partisan issue. Sexual harassment, sexual assault is all of our issues, right? And yeah. so it shouldn't be divided that way. But to ask him to resign, I don't know if that's the appropriate response either. I mean, no senator has been asked to resign ever. The last time someone was expel expelled from, from the Senate, I think it was like a hundred and... 155 years ago and so but what is the response what what do you do when you have a sitting senator or a sitting president having been accused of some sort of sexual well, um, no, immorality didn't people used to do investigations yes and and senator franken has called for an ethics investigation yeah. mm -hmm. you know i mean I, look you know <laughs> the behavior is unconscionable but i do think because we have seen so many different responses to things mm -hmm. that it would be probably a really good idea for us to take a breath and start investigating stuff. I agree. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because I just feel like there's so much coming that I don't want it to fall by the wayside so that someone doesn't have their day in court to say, this is what he did to me, this is when it happened, this is what I've been telling people. Mm -hmm. I want people to be able to do that. Yeah. And I, I just, I get nervous because, you know, we spent some time with the Central Park Five uh, when their documentary came out, which said it wasn't true it wasn't them yeah and these kids spent right. years in prison so we have to it's like we don't want to put people to death who are not who are innocent mm -hmm. yeah you know and we're very reluctant as you know sometimes to put people to death at all mm -hmm. but you um, know it, but I, I just think yeah. that you know that to lose this ability mm -hmm. to have folks who are making the accusations be able to make these in open court and get their justice done? I don't. I don't want to see that disappear. Except well, for, it is. He he said she. It's really the well, uh, this one is the court of, of uh, you know, public opinion. Yes, but the court of court. public opinion isn't always correct. No, well, the Franken has said. Franken has said he didn't remember taking the photo with uh, this new accuser, Lindsay Mentz, and that he felt badly that she felt disrespected. So he's not really admitting it. He's not denying it. But he did admit 
the, that the other behaviors were inappropriate. Yeah. And that person... He did not person, admit that he, he, that he kissed that girl. He didn't really Yeah, no, that. no. He only is admitting to the photograph. To the photo. He had no choice. The and photograph well, I think, is And there. he's apologized for it, and she accepted that I think apology. So where do we go? the victim, you won't forget a detail because you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Whereas it's not surprising some of these men remember it differently because at the time, whether they were justifying it or didn't see it as bad, mm -hmm. it's not as indelible in their memory. But why is it happening so much? Is it that it's always been happening it's and women aren't up. talking about it? It's that we're catching we're up for decades it? of silence. That's well, what I think I'll it is. I'll say this. If, if Franken has to resign, then Trump needs to resign because he's just as guilty of harassing women and he has 16 accusers. So far. Yeah. And you know, when you listen to the Republican Party, what they're saying is Roy Blunt, senator from wherever he's from, somebody will tell me maybe. Alabama. Um, Alabama said that, uh, well, the Trump thing, well, listen, uh, the voters have spoken. They knew about these allegations and they still voted for him. That has nothing to do with ethics and morality and what the president allegedly did. Mm -hmm. And President Clinton was impeached correctly, and probably as as uh, Gillibrand says, Senator Gillibrand, he should have resigned. No, I just I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Because when someone resigns, everything gets put under the carpet. He needed to go through exactly what he went through. He needed to have to fess up to whatever was going on at the time. And to say he should have resigned is, is makes no sense. Well, she's talking about it with what we know now. Not, it's sort of like in hindsight. Well, with the a sort of thing that's a, happening. In hindsight, I shouldn't but have he, eaten all those potato chips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he, he paid the price, though, right? I mean, if we're, if we're talking about Bill Clinton, he paid the price. What has he been did. striking to me with uh, Donald Trump is 16 women have come forward forward and have accused him of varying behavior, of varying degree. He himself has said you can grab women by the genitals and, and you know, get, he, away he, and get away with it. Why haven't we heard more from these women? Why are people them, though, talking the about thing, it? Is I don't want to. I want to hear more from them. I don't. I know these other stories better because they've been painting the news yeah, cycle. I would love so to I know hear what happened more. with Frank and I know what happened with Roy Moore. Which, I don't know is, all. It's a, it's a little suspicious that we haven't heard from them. I would much. love to well, hear from them. I think them. we heard quite a bit from them. Not and lately. Then, well, no, not lately because if you recall, I do believe there was sort of a kind of veiled threat of threat lawsuits of, of lawsuits mm -hmm. and. Quite honestly, you know, listen, we're hearing a lot of different stuff from a lot of different people. And, and I think probably a lot of these women don't want to be judged anymore. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's why a lot of women don't come forward, don't say stuff, because they feel people are going to judge them. Maybe they should just maybe, you know, because he felt comfortable enough bringing the accusers uh, of Bill Clinton. Clinton, maybe the next speech he gives, they should he, just stand with signs. But Trump also, mm -hmm. he, he also threatened to sue these women. Yes. Oh, I'm going to sue them. Isn't you know what? He doesn't want to sue now? them because if they, if it's a lawsuit, they will really be telling things that he doesn't want out there. Mm. And that's well, why he hasn't done we'll it. We'll be back mm. with more hot topics.